Today, I'm going to show you how you can turn any image into a painting in just one click with Photoshop. Yes, that's right, any image, one click. This isn't clickbait, we're going to be using downloadable Photoshop scripts to automate the full process for us, because who really has the time these days to spend hours painting? So let's not waste any more time and jump straight in. To start with, I'm going to guide you through the installation process. You'll need to install FX Box, which is a free Photoshop plugin. Open your browser and head over to the orangebox.com with dashes between each word. From there, download the FX Box. After you've done that, open Photoshop. Then go to File, Scripts and Browse. Locate the FX folder and then click on the FX Box installer.jsx. Do that and then it's installed. Then you will need to restart Photoshop. When you reopen Photoshop, go to Windows, Extensions, and you should see the FX box there. A small orange icon will pop up. You can simply drag this and add it to the toolbar on the right. Then we want to install our Photoshop add-on. There's a link in the description to do this. It will cost you $15 in total, and this isn't a sponsored video, but I do believe this is good value because of how versatile this add-on is. In Photoshop, click the orange icon. From there, click the plus button and then locate the folder for the real paint effects. Open that folder and go to FX Tools and then locate the real paint installer. That's everything you need for the installation. Now we can begin turning our images into paintings. To do this, we need to go and open the FX panel and then click the icon and then click apply this effect. All we need to do is sit back and let Photoshop do all the magic. Each layer is being gradually applied, which means that we can go in and manually edit any of these layers at a later point. I mean, come on, look at how detailed this is. The texture looks exactly as you would imagine a painting to look, and we even have cracks to add that extra level of realism. Now, the real fun begins and we can start fine tuning our image. So here's how this works. If we open the paint levels folder, we can see that the effect has been applied over six layers, with each one progressively adding more detail. If we remove these layers one by one, you can see what I mean. Above the paint levels folder, we have another layer called reveal back and that has a layer mask applied. If we hide the refiller, lines and detail and small brush layers, you can see we have an image that resembles an impressionist painting, which does look cool, but there's no clear focal point. To bring back some of the detail on the face, select the layer mask on the reveal back layer. And then with our brush tool and white as our foreground color, we can simply paint over the areas we want to add more detail to. This is looking good. I think this crack is too distracting, so if we want to remove this, we need to open the extra textures folder and then select the layer and add a layer mask. Then we simply need to repeat the same process and paint away the crack, but this time with black as a foreground color. For the next part of the process, I'm going to create a folder at the top and call this adjustment layers. Let's start by adding a curves layer and lifting the shadows to brighten the overall image as it's too dark at the moment. Then we're going to add a color grade using lookup adjustment layers. On our first layer, we're going to start by changing the blend mode to lighten as we only want this to affect the lighter parts of the image. And to bring out those orange tones, I'm going to apply the crisp and warm LUT. For the second color lookup layer, we're going to change the blend mode to darken. So this does the opposite of the lighten layer and only affects the darker parts of our image. Then add the horror blue LUT. And this doesn't look good at the moment because the blues are a little bit too dominant. So bring down the opacity to 25% and you can see this is now more subtle. Let's have a look at the before and after. As you can see, this brightens the overall image and brings out some of the warmer tones while adding teal into the shadows as well. Of course, no painting is ever truly complete without a gallery to hang it in. So we're going to create a quick composite and make it look as realistic as we can. Let's start by converting our painting into a smart object and then scaling this into position. If you hold down option on your keyboard and select any of the four corners, this will allow us to adjust and position our image into the frame. This doesn't look real at the moment because we don't have any light interacting with our painting. So we're going to add this in manually. Let's start by creating a new blank layer. Then we need to make a selection of our painting. Hold down command and click the layer thumbnail. Hit B on your keyboard to get your brush tool and then let's scale this up. Make sure you have a soft brush selected and white as your foreground color and then paint at the top corner. I'm also going to add some reflection at the bottom of the glass on the right hand side. If you want to make this blend better, bring down the fill to around 60%. Next, grab a pen tool and draw a triangle that fills the bottom left part of the frame like this. 
set the fill as a white transparent gradient and then change the rotation to negative 165 degrees. After that, change the opacity to 20% and then we're done. I love this effect because of how much time it saves and I think the results are great too. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.